Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video and today I brought you guys this sort of statement combined with a problem so let's check it out so what does it say it says that quite enthusiastically that the answer is 4 so it says that the answer is 4 so what is the answer 4 to to the problem of 25 minus 5 divided by 5 so this statement apparently is true so let's see how they got the answer so first thing we want to do when solving this problem 25 minus 5 divided by 5 is that we need to follow through on the order of operations correct that is the most important part for these types of problems so the orders of operations or as some of you may know as PEMDAS at least that's how I learned it it goes it goes the orders of which you're supposed to do certain mathematical functions in an equation so if we were to look at PEMDAS the D in division comes before the S in subtraction so that means that we need to do the division here first right so that is the correct way to do it so let's do the division first so we'll have 25 minus 5 divided by 5 what is 5 divided by 5 that is 1 so 25 minus 1 is what that is 24 so the correct answer that we got is 24 however in the statement here it says that the answer is 4 so how did they get that answer that's kinda weird because we did it correctly and we got 24 so how would they get 4 maybe the way they got 4 is that they did not follow through of the order of operations which is wrong but maybe that is what they did so let's check it out if if you do not follow the order of operations if you get the answer 4 we're just going to do it for the sake of it right so remember that whenever you do try to actually solve a problem you always need to use order of operations okay so do not do do not ignore the orders of operations for any problem okay so but if we were to purposely do this wrong and not oblige by the orders of operations we would have 25 minus 5 which is 20 divided by 5 so 20 divided by 5 is 4 so this 4 is the same answer that the people who wrote the statement got however we're on the assumption that the people who wrote this statement got the answer in a legally in a correct way with doing correct math so I think that we can disregard this method because it clearly has some wrongdoings in terms of math right so I'm not going to consider that this is the correct way that they got this answer because we assume that this and this statement has to be correct some way so since this statement has to be correct some way let's let's look at it one more time and if you look at it you may find it weird that the statement is so enthusiastic right since it has an exclamation mark it's so enthusiastic although it's just stating the answer that one got from doing a math problem right because normally when one does a math problem they will not so full of emotion and full of excitement state their answer the answer is four normally you would just say it normally so maybe this exclamation mark has a different purpose and for those of you who know if you don't know yet it's totally fine but an exclamation mark also in math terms has a different function and the function that it can take is a factorial so what is a factorial so a factorial is so if you do a factorial of a number so for example 3 factorial that is equal to starting from 1 every single whole number from 1 to the number that you have so for example this is 3 so factorial 3 would be all the numbers 
between 1 and 3 and they are going to be multiplied together. So 1 times 2 times 3. So if this were for example 5, 5 factorial would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So all the numbers there from 1 to 5, all the whole numbers, and they're going to be multiplied together. So 3 factorial would be equal to 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. And 5 factorials would be equal to 4 times 5, 20 times 6 would be 120. But we are looking for 4 factorial, so let's go ahead and do that. So 4 factorial is equal to, remember, all the numbers from 1 to 4 multiply together. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And if this statement, the answer is 4 factorial, is correct, then 4 factorial would have to be 24 because the answer to this problem, as we got correctly, is 24. So let's just make sure that it is. Let's check it. So 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12. What is 12 times 2? 12 times 2 is 24. So yes, we have checked the answer. It is correct. So this statement here, the answer is 4, is correct. Well, if you say it out loud, the answer is 4, it would be better to say that the answer is 4 factorial. However, if you write it, writing it like this, the answer is 4, exclamation mark, is perfectly correct. So this was not a wrong answer. They did not do their orders of operations wrong. It is in fact correct. So to end this video, I want to show you guys how factorials can be used in math. What is, what is the purpose that they have? So you guys all have probably seen a type of problem where you have some kind of objects or people. For example, I'll say ABC. And these people, these ABCs, are each their own person. And we need to figure out how many different combinations that the ABC can be put into. How many different orders they can be put into, right? So, for example, ABC, we can have ABC, of course. ACB, BAC, BCA, and then CAB, and CBA. So that is all the different orders and combinations we can have for these three different objects, right? So where do factorials come into play? Well, since we have these three objects, right? We see that with three objects we can have one, two, three, four, five, six different combinations, right? So if we were to do three factorial we have already done it here, so 3 factorial is in fact equal to 6. So a factorial of a number can show you how many combinations it can have in situations like this with those amount of objects. So I hope you learned something watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would greatly appreciate if you like and comment. And with that being said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.